Gosh, Cam, <laughs> bite the story for that baby. Yeah. Well, it was quite a wet one this morning. And yeah. It's still wet out there. It's uh, this is our wettest month, right? The typically on average the wettest month of the year, and today is the wettest day of the month so far. We have a half an inch on the ground at the moment, and it's still coming down at a pretty decent pace. This is a little atmospheric river setup for us, and you can see it's green basically across the board, meaning uh, moderate steady rain continuing for a good chunk of western Washington. The exception, look at the hole right here. This is that rain shadow. So folks around uh, say Whidbey Island, especially the Oak Harbor area. You're you're probably not seeing a whole lot of rainfall, but wet elsewhere. Let's take a look at the rainfall totals just as of midnight. Half an inch out at SeaTac, Bremerton, 55 hundredths of an inch of rain. And look at all along the coast, Quileute, with about two and a quarter inches of rainfall. And of course, we are looking at the potential with all this rainfall of seeing some minor to moderate flooding. We do have a couple of flood warnings that we want to speak of. Uh, in Mason County, the Skokomish River expected to see moderate flooding today. And the little green east of Bellingham, that's the South Fork Nooksack River, which is also expected to to see moderate flooding with the rivers cresting sometime early tomorrow morning before falling back below flood stage sometime on Wednesday. So again, flood warning at least through Wednesday. It's not the only weather related uh, alerts we're looking at. We're also going to be seeing some pretty gusty wind develop in places over western Washington. The coast and parts of the northwest interior are under a high wind warning until four o'clock tomorrow morning. We will continue to see the wind ramp up in these areas through this afternoon and especially early this evening before substantial siding late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Some of these areas uh, all, all along the coast, uh, the San Juan Islands, say around uh, the Admiralty Inlets or the Port Townsend area, Camino Island and Woodby Island. We could see some wind gusts approaching 60 miles per hour. And considering this is the first real sizable wind event that we've seen this year, we could see some extra branches go down, so just something to pay attention to. Ferndale, Ferndale, you are also included in this. Not only are we seeing some rain, but also some pretty gusty wind. It'll just be a breezy day from, say, Everett southward. We're starting to see the wind pick up right now, but it's just above 10 miles per hour, at least out at SeaTac. 51 uh, degrees is our current temperature, so temperatures are on the warmer side. And just overall, look at the scale of this thing. Uh, the rain extends about 50, 1,500 miles offshore. So, yes, it's a pretty decent uh, rain event that we're in the middle of and the rain will continue to fall pretty steadily throughout the rest of the afternoon and in through this evening. This is at five o'clock. Notice the gusty conditions. Southeast wind over the northwest interior, more of a south wind for coastal beaches. As we head into the evening hours, even past 10, 11 o'clock tonight, it's still wet and it still is on the breezy side. We don't see the rain subside until tomorrow morning. Probably a wet start to the day tomorrow and then we're just tapered to scattered showers, maybe even mixed with a few sun breaks by Tuesday afternoon. So let's get a look at your seven day forecast. Rain Rainy and breezy today. Temperatures on the mild side, low to mid 50s, kind of steadying things off. It looks like the rain tapers to showers on Tuesday, showers and sun breaks on Wednesday, a somewhat drier day on Thursday, and then another shot for rain. And notice those cooler temperatures. We're going to see highs in the mid 40s this upcoming weekend with rain likely at times through the weekend.